How to deal with water damage under a slab. Did you know that a slab leak could actually cause problems to your house that could cost you tens of thousands of dollars worth of damage? It can actually ruin the foundation of your house, cause your foundation to crack and break, walls to shift and things like that. Well, in this video, we're gonna talk about how to figure out if you do have a slab leak and how to help keep you from having to deal with the stress and a lot of the financial problems of a slab leak. Now, knowing if you've got one and how to find it can make all the difference in the world. So hang around, let's jump into this video and see what we can do to figure out how to help you with your slab leak. Now, if you're a plumber and you already do slab leaks, leak detection, anything at all like that, I'd love to hear from you and let me know how did you get started in it? How did you find the right product? How were you trained in it? How did you learn how to do it? Because with me, well, I think I learned a pretty unique way, but I'm gonna to talk to y'all about it in a little bit and see what we can do to help other people learn more about slab leaks and leak detection. And guys, this video is sponsored by Leak Pro. To me, Leak Pro is the very best leak location system for the plumbing industry. If you wanna find out more about it, go to www.leak-pro.com. So first of all, what is a slab leak? Well, we talk predominantly about slab leaks being a water line leak under a house because truthfully, those cause the most damage. You can actually have a water leak under a house that can erode away the dirt under the foundation. So your concrete slab is poured on a mud pack, on dirt, on something like that. Well, that water spraying is eventually gonna go somewhere and it can wash out areas. Now, another slab leak is a sewer line leak. You can have a sewer line leak where every time you flush a toilet, run a shower, bathtub, anything at all like that, that water going down the drain leaks out and again, erodes the dirt. Now the spring water, the water pressure can make that happen at a faster pace. But I've literally crawled under a building before and it was a commercial building. They knew that they had leaks and knew that they had had for a while. Whenever I climbed under that building, the dirt had actually pulled away from the slab more than a foot. Now, luckily the foundation was still intact and it was post tension cable. So everything was intact on the slab, but 90, 95% of it under that house was not, or under that building was not sitting on a slab. It was sitting on that foundation. So you want to make sure that if you do have a slab leak, you determine it from the beginning and get on it as quick as possible. That way it doesn't cost you a lot more money to take care of a lot of other things. Now it used to be that slab leaks were only found because, well, there was a lot of damage. The house foundation, it had shifted, cracks in the walls, different things like that, or water just started coming up out from under the slab. Now, a lot of times that is still how it's found, but with us, paying more attention to our water meters these days, with water costing more money, a lot of people just really notice that their water bill went way up. But it's costing them a lot more money each and every month for their water. And their gas or electric bill can go up drastically if that leak happens to be on the hot side. So this is something that you wanna look at from the very beginning. When you first start thinking that you may have a problem, check it immediately and it won't just cost you money and it won't lead to more problems under your house. Now, one thing that I started doing as soon as I started my plumbing company was offering sewer and water tests to home buyers. Now, this is something a lot of homeowners started having done too, but we would go out to people's houses, put a test ball in their sewer line and fill it up to see if they had a leak on the sewer line. Then we put a gauge on a hydrant, we shut off the meter and see if that pressure drops down any. If your water bill is starting to rise and you don't know why, or you go out and look at your meter and it's turning continuously, guess what? You've probably got a problem. But nowadays with the equipment out there like Leak Pro, it makes it really easy to find. We can come out to your house, take the Leak Pro equipment, listen to your meter, listen to your backflow preventers, listen to the isolation valves on your irrigation system, listen to the valve box at the front of your house, and then we can determine if it's inside or outside or maybe we may have to isolate the house. But then we can go through your entire house, listening to every angle stop, every valve, every fixture to see if we can hear approximately where that leak is. 
Having equipment like Leak Pro is amazing. So like I told you, this video is sponsored by Leak Pro. Leak Pro to me is the best leak location system for plumbers. It's designed for plumbers to go in, listen to the slabs, listen to the valves, listen to the meters, listen to everything. Because if water is leaking around there, you get an acoustic noise that you're gonna be able to recognize. And there's different things you can do along the way. So Leak Pro has a training center outside of Dallas, Texas. If Leak Pro and slab leak detection is something that you wanna add to the services that you offer your customers, I highly recommend it. If you wanna be a great plumber or a great plumbing company owner, Learning how to use equipment like this is going to set you apart from every other plumber and every other company in your area. A lot of people in my area sub out all the leak detection to leak location specialists. Well, with the Leak Pro training, you can become a specialist yourself. Now, once we get into a house and we start doing the locating and finding out where we think it is, we use a locator. We literally find out where the copper line is under the slab maybe between two angle valves where we hear it the loudest, and then we know to listen above that line. By listening directly above that line, we're putting ourselves directly above where that leak could be. And once we know we're at it, now all we've got to do is look at what we need to do to make the repair. If it's a water line, we can loop the line up overhead, or we can tunnel underneath and replace that section of pipe. There's a lot of different ways to go about it. One thing I recommend is learning to speak insurance. You need to help that customer figure out if they're covered for this problem or not before you ever start doing the work really. So by having the right conversations with them, asking them to contact their insurance company without making a claim, without claiming they have a water leak is a great way to start. But tying all this together, now remember I told you in the beginning, Water lines, sewer lines, either one of them leaking under your slabs can lead to big problems and very expensive problems. And this is something you don't wanna happen. Now, a lot of people think we're crazy down here in Texas. If we find a leak up under a house, one of the options we give is going outside, making a hole in the ground, and then tunneling all the way over to that. Now we have professional dig crews do this. We don't just send a plumber under the ground with a shovel and tell him to start digging his way to China, although that's exactly what it would feel like. If you've ever done this, if you're a plumber and you've ever worked under a house where you've crawled under to fix a water line, repair a water line, repair a sewer line, whatever it is you're doing, leave me a comment down below. Did you have a professional dig crew do it? And did you feel safe working down there? Because guys, I've got to tell you, too many plumbers die in Texas each and every year. And I would hate for that to happen to one of you. That's why we always use professional dig crews. We never dig those holes ourselves. But guys, remember, once you tunnel up under there, you're gonna have to backfill that dirt. And as a plumbing company owner, one thing I did to cover myself, I always called a structural engineer. I wanted an engineer to come in and look at how big a hole we dug, how much dirt did we pull out, how much dirt did we put back, did we do everything that we could do to take care of the homeowners. And a lot of time, that engineering report is well worth it. Me, when I had Texas Green Plumbing, we specialized in this and we got really good at it. Remember, this always goes back to taking care of your customer each and every day and providing services for them that they really need. So tunneling up underneath, if it's a sewer line, something you may need to think about, you don't wanna make a hole in the concrete slab inside the house and pile up all this dirt in there that now has raw sewage in it. So we almost always tunnel at that point. Or if we do go through the house, we'll carry that dirt out, get rid of it and replace it. And if this is something you do all the time, I'd really love to hear from you. Guys, if you like this video, I definitely think you're gonna like that one.